All right, frozen, frozen mushrooms. This was one of the decks I listed in my top five cosmic creation decks. And I think this deck is really sweet and competitive and it got some great tools from the most recent, the most recent set. So the basic idea in this deck is you have Teemo here, which on Nexus Strike, plants these poison puff cap trap cards on our opponent's cards in their deck. And then when they draw these cards, they take a damage for every puff cap that they draw. Teemo levels up when he's when you've planted 15 plus puff caps. And then his level mode doubles up the puff caps in their deck every time he hits them. The frozen part of the mushrooms is Sejani here at the top end of her curve. When she comes into play, she frostbites something and grants it vulnerable. So she basically acts as a piece of pseudo removal slash board control when she comes down. And then she levels when you damage the enemy nexus in five different rounds, which our puff caps can help with because they can draw puff caps when it's not your attack token accelerating how quickly this happened. And then her level mode also works well with puff caps. She says each round the first time you damage the enemy nexus, frostbite all enemies, set their power to zero. So she allows the puff caps to freeze the opponent's board, making it very difficult to race us in the mid to late game. The big upgrade this archetype got from the most recent set was Ballistic Bot here. One, three for two that creates an ignition every turn and ignition allows us to easily trigger Sajani on our opponent's attack tokens, as well as the fact that this creates a spell for us to play every turn synergizes really well with our tools Starlet Seer here, as well as Puff Cap Peddler, which give us triggers every time we cast a spell. So that works well with our champions, but it also works well with our non-champions, providing us an endless flow of spells to trigger these every single turn. So let's go ahead and dive on into some games with this one and see how it feels today. Hey, Carlos, thanks for the 23 months. Coming up on that two year mark, welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. I spent $10 to make this deck. I got it off your website. It's amazing. I cannot express so much. I love this energy. Yeah, it's just, this deck's sweet because like it's got some pretty individually good cards, but it also has ones that feel good to synergize together. Uh, I think you're mulliganing the Hexcore Foundries here. Well, this is a card I'll want mid to late game against their, their mid-range control deck. I don't want them early. I think I'm mulligan the Tavern Keeper too. I'm going to keep the Teemo on one basically always. You can dodge a thermo beam. You can dodge a ball, Timo. Poor little Timo. He was too pure for this world, chat. Look at the way they massacred my boy. The poor little teams. He was Timo. Timo confirmed bad at dodgeball. <laughs> That's rough. Was ready was ready for damage based removal, was not ready for the culling strike. My pretty. Time for a true display of skill. Hey, awesome, Nolan. Yeah, the, the Scarground deck is one of my other favorites right now. Once I stand papers, now faces. Now faces. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. It's giving the ability to Mystic Shot this, but like they're gonna get to do that at some point anyways. So I think I'd rather just do it now. What did Teemo do to deserve that besides war crimes? Asking the real questions. Yeah, I'm gonna open a deck here since we drew the Mystic Shot. Uh, Timo's League of Legend lore background is that he's a war criminal, for reference. Is this a nice draw? It, it actually doesn't do a whole lot here, right? Yeah, I think it's been a while since you've had a baby princess as a guest. Oh, it has been a while, hasn't it? Hello, baby girl. Hello. Can you say hi to the internet? Who's precious? Who's precious? Yes, you are. 
Yeah. Ugh. I I think we're playing this out as a blocker at this point. She does she does have very pretty eyes, don't you, baby girl? Yeah. You can't tell right now because you're a baby, but there's pictures of you on the chat. You don't know what she knows. <laughs> that's that's fair. For people that are new to the channel, this is Haley. I can ask the other ones how old they are. Haley Haley is seven months old. Almost almost seven months. A couple days short of seven months. Are we? I think we're just taking this hit. She hasn't been swaddled in like five months. Yeah, she's she's big and mobile. She don't tolerate being swaddled no more. Gotta gotta roll around and have some freedom. Sure. Being being able to um being able to play on mobile definitely makes it easier to play on occasion while children are afoot. Gonna death sand that one. Am I okay with that? I feel like I'm okay with that. I feel like I want to save my troll chance for saving Timo down the line. Let that happen. I think I'm just banking spell mana here because if we draw a puff cap peddler next turn. I know you can't currently see my mana because I've got the bigger Haley cam up, but I promise you Haley's more important than seeing my mana. Aaron, thank you for the 57 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. That is an absurd duration. It's a long time. That's longer than you've been alive. Well, yeah, there's a lot of things that are longer than you've been alive. It's also true. Our hand is super awkward here. The fact that they have Ezreal means I don't really have profitable attacks. Are we... Honestly, I think we're just, like, iterative improving this. And then we're going to get this charging up. M. Carryton. Thank you for the pile of sub-gifties. That's absurdly generous. Oh, you're super excited about that mystic shot, huh? Don't be excited. It's going to kill Daddy's bot. There are lots of fun colors and explosions on the screen. I agree. It's one of the reasons why Rune Terror is great. It has fun colors and explosions. Uh oh, she's going for the mouse, shit. She sees she sees me clicking, and she needs to click too. I think I'm gonna go ahead and save this at this point. It's gonna level the swain here as well. Happy belated birthday and cute baby gifts. Thank you, Carrie Turd. Your dad's an old man now, Healy. He's 30. Well, I don't think we're going to beat the simultaneous Swain, Swain Ezreal here, so. Pack it up. Pack it in. Let me begin. You are enthralled by the animations on this screen. They're pretty, they're pretty good, huh? Hey, Justin, long time no see. Yeah. Who's got a key smile? you do? I'm gonna mulligan these two looking for a bot to enable these or a Teemo to drop on one. Hey, 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 Agedom, thank you for the prime. I'll take I'll take a little bit of Jeff Bezos' money whenever you want to give it to me. Thanks for the support. All right, please play a Zoe. Think we just want to beam this to start. Beam him up. Mystic shot, technically not beam. At least I clicked on the right card.
I mean, to be to be fair, Justin, I'm very fortunate in that my gaming time gets to qualify gets to qualify as work. The spirit gives to those who listen. Look at that smile. Yeah. Although, like I mentioned a second ago, Rune Terra being on mobile definitely helps. The the small amount of games I play off stream are definitely all mobile games, so it's easier to get in a game on the cell phone or the iPad in between things, rather than having to sit down at the PC. Somebody surpassed Bezos and Will. Uh yeah, Elon Elon Musk. Well Bezos Bezos <laughs> Bezos also lost a lot of money to divorce. Oh right, right, right. So it wasn't it wasn't just Elon gaining, it was also Bezos. Bezos is down dollar reduce. Your daughter steals your phone to watch things. Well, you see, Justin, the key there is you need to give the children their own phones. <laughs> you don't have your own phone yet. Maybe in a maybe in a few years. I think we're just waiting on playing any spells out for now. We're gonna wait till we get the uh, the Starlet Seer into play here, so we can get max triggers going. We see through all. They think you're cute, baby girl. Oh, and their username is Legend of the Baby. So they know all about babies. <laughs> Alright, let's try and murder. I'm gonna try and murder the Sparkle Fly before we play the Teemo, so that way they don't know that we're gonna be playing an elusive out. Half a mushroom. Ow! Six. Does the TX take away her voice? It probably does take away parts of her voice. They probably don't hear you squeaking. Maybe? Do her squeaks come through with the RTX? I know, I know it like filters large chunks of like Jacob and Declan when they come in. I will not hold back. Oh, it does look like some of your squeaks are coming through. <laughs> RTX like you more than your brothers, huh? Squeaks. Poor Timo. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. I think we're just proactively Sejanying this turn. You can't really see at home, but she is she is standing on my leg. Cause she's huge. Standing up like a bipedal creature. Like a giant bipedal creature. Yeah. Okay. Harsh winds is a good draw here too. Um <laughs> give it a hex score. You're really skinny. And then, I, w I wonder if we're supposed to just Mystic Shot their dome at this point. I guess they have to double. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Thermo Beam. I'm gonna Thermo Beam Lisa in here and make them have a protection. Easy Yummy, thank you for the 24 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. I'm dead. Just let me touch the buttons. <laughs> Do we want to attack for six, baby girl? They give Lee a barrier that would be bad for us. I guess we just end. The fact that we haven't done any damage with Sajati here yet feels bad. Just let her touch the mouse. That's all she wants in her tiny life. Uh oh. Chat, you still see me, right? My rune terror is locked up. Uh oh. Uh oh. OBS doesn't say I've dropped any frames. Yeah, we see it. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Daddy's gonna lose the game. Uh oh. Oh no. Can I get some baby rage? No, you don't have baby rage in you. You're just a happy you, baby. You close the application. That's what I'm playing. Weird. It just like didn't recognize that I had clicked OK to end the round. The cuteness overloaded Runeterra. 
<laughs> yeah, I think your mom's pretty funny too. Dad, I just want the mouse. Dad, just let me try. Dad, just let me try. You want that mouse real bad, don't you? Don't you, don't you? You gonna level this up here? Not quite. This harsh winds plus mystic shot's gonna be real, real good here. So. And then we'll mystic shot this to try and pop the barrier so we can kill it. Obviously, they could have a Bastion or a Deny or Nopify here, but if they don't, their Lisa dies. <laughs> Who's a baby cutie? Yeah. Okay, so... Man, they are really good at not drawing puff caps. Um, I've not, I've still not damaged their nexus. <laughs> Thank you for coming to visit, baby girl. Bye bye to the internet. Bye bye, internet. Internet. The baby. Who's the baby? Who's the baby? <laughs> Are we just ending the round here? I think we might just be ending the round. I guess I haven't done damage to their nexus yet. With the second Sajani in hand, I'm gonna attack with this and get a get a trigger here. I think. So it marks a little bit of damage on here, but it gives us a Sajani trigger for the turn. I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like we're probably not going to have enough time to get this leveled, though. The fact that I didn't have, um, the fact that I didn't have enough energy or didn't have enough damage early to level this up could easily mean that this is just going to combo kill us. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's turn nine and Sajani just went to one, so like. Now, now you draw mushroom, sure. Who's, who's excited to die from 19 this turn? I know I am. Prepare yourself. No overwhelm. Is your deck broken opponent? Hashtag sometimes lucky. Oh, I should have played this first, right? Join me if you want to live. I am I usually I play once one play the matchup once per deck, Evid, just to remind myself how bad it feels with a variety of different things. I mean, we're up to three.
Okay, if they if they don't open attacks next turn, I can Sajani to Frostbite this. And if they do open attacks, they need to get up to 10 power for Troll Chant to not, not save us. Yeah, maybe it's better to Aftershock than putting this many more Puff Caps into their deck. So we're crossing, we're crossing fingers for no open attack. And if they do open attack, we're crossing fingers for no, um... Well, that was, that was the best draw in our deck. All right, so we won. Yeah, I agree. That's that's also why I didn't concede with this one because this matchup, this matchup, like we have two else to be competitive here, and like they're on they're on forty three puff caps and sixteen cards. What a mushroom hell. Ice, ice, baby. Be -do 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 -do. Nice ice, baby. Alright, and then Sajani's leveled, so we're gonna get to deploy her. We're gonna get to deploy her. And start locking their attack out. Humanity is obsolete. Humanity is obsolete. Is it better to freeze the life linker instead of the goat? Ah, uh, maybe, I don't think that's gonna matter. They're averaging three damage per. They're averaging three damage per card drawn. I'd rather. I'd rather just keep my my board alive. I guess I could have blocked the three power goat with the chump wump since they didn't hook anything. <laughs> We're a giver, champ. We're a giver. These are a few of my favorite things. Do 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 Slightly above average. Yeah, stealing nine nine on two card draws was a little bit above average. To be fair, it wasn't that far above average. They were on like 54 puff caps and 17 cards. Having having live draws off of both your deck and their deck is great. No, I uh I dealt uh I dealt two damage at the end of the turn, right? I dealt two with my ignitions. We're definitely keeping Hexacore Foundry against their control deck. I'm gonna mulligan the rest of these, looking for a Teemo and cheap enablers like this. Or cheap cheap payoffs like this. Bot plus Starlet. Sounds lovely. Sounds lovely. We did do eleven. Okay, sure. We didn't we didn't need eleven though. I am superior life form. Can you improve perfection? Destiny awaits. Opponent, opponent is playing the spookiest of karmas. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, and I mean, like, we also, what 2 minus 2 said, we also didn't have to kill them that turn. Five mana deep meditation. Deal. And I think we're just deploying Hexcore Foundry at this point. It technically cycles my opponents into their Gohards quicker, but... Another day in the field. It's a little, it's a little dark. I don't think I've ever seen Thresh and Teemo together. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and Ignition here, I think. And then I can attack this into Thresh. Oh, I'm so dumb. This is a 2-2. That's fine, it technically heals him one. a little bit here, but whatever. We'll be okay. Charlotte's here into Hexcore Foundry here. Okay, and actually with that block now, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and play this 6-6, six, six, just like have open attacks here. Going on, duck. We played we played a poopy karma deck to start, but then we had some very generous bits to cut in uh to cut in this deck that we're currently playing, which has been fun. I like giving out presents. Am I using this to save this? I feel like the answer is no. I think I want to just do this, this, this turn. Okay, they're ready to pack our bags, Chip. <laughs> Where are you? We swim within the flows of magic. By snow and stars. So they could, they could have. They could have another deal one here. They do not, that's great. Okay, so I'm gonna open on Sajani because uh, they have Ruination mana available. Is 
Okay, so no Vengeance mana, no Ruination mana. So we just play Giant Teemo. <laughs> Any recommendations for streaming this game? Um, I can guess it bombs rude. I guess, I guess, I guess my question would be, what do you, what do you mean? Like recommendations on things to do while streaming? Oh, right. She's gonna wipe the attack off all their stuff. So if I do this, I can attack with these other ones because their things aren't gonna have power. You have no power here. Ice, ice, baby. Be -do 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 -do. The answer lies within. The great master of tan. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. It's tough to deck them because of the pack the bags. Because of because of the gohards. He says, I'll tell you when you're taller, is the, the verbiage for folks that were wondering. I'm gonna go ahead and heal our Heal our giant Teemo out of, uh, out of range here of, uh, deal five. Have a mushroom. Have three. Have three. Have three. There they go. There they go. Swiftly. I assume there's a vengeance in our future here. They haven't played one yet. Oh, or they're very dead. Got it. <laughs> what, on, what on God's green earth is in their hand? Oh, that's how that works. It transforms the second one while it's on the stack. I should probably have known that. Okay. Seven, seven. It could, it could just be a bunch of gohards. Yeah. I should have, I should have saved my Sajani there. I wasn't, I wasn't expect. I should have used the eye. Why not kill the karma? Because they're at four. Oh, I 
this was weak, but look at me look now. Look at me now! That's true too. There's a good chance they're playing Rekindler and they have some in hand at this point. I might have to stop playing units so they can stop playing go hards. I don't know if that's true because like they're going to, they're just going to kill me with this, right? Their next, their next go hard here packs my bags. So I think we do this. Yeah, I think we peddler to start putting. Oh, I should. I, that was a. That was a cavern keeper. I mean, to be fair, we're giving we're giving them endless cards, right? this one one thing i would really like from a consistency standpoint is and this is actually something magic has a really awful time with too is that um which of your removal spells can target your units and which ones only target your opponent's units is really arbitrary in this game and I, I really wish they would re-template them all to target everything or all to target only your opponent's stuff. It feels, it feels like they have different people designing these cards and some of them pick one way to design them and some of them pick the other. And it feels completely arbitrary and random. And Grax, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. I will get patch notes tomorrow and the patch will deploy on Wednesday. Patch notes are always Tuesday, basically. So, to the person that suggested we, uh, to the person that suggested we stop playing units out, that doesn't work. Yeah, longer, much longer patch window than Rune Terror normally has because of the holidays. Which, what's his name? Uh, Cosmic plays on Twitter that does the the weekly weekly data farm for people that didn't see that. Look, he literally literally posted it one second ago. This is this is actually the least diverse Rune Terror has ever been. 
And it's still, it's still pretty, pretty reasonable, all things considered. So, there are four decks that make up the top half of the format currently. And here's a, here's a link to this for people that want to, want to reference it themselves, but it's the smallest, smallest the other slice has been since I started playing. And for, for reference, what Cosmic does to get that data is he's manually parsing the, um, they're manually parsing the information on Mobilytics and grouping things reasonably. So if you pull up Mobilytics by default, when it groups things into percentages, it groups them based on card to card exact list. That data is platinum and above. So that Cosmic Cosmic pulls uh, platinum platinum diamond masters when he does his weekly when they do their weekly thing. Does Cosmic have pronouns on their on their Twitter? Speaking of, they do they do not. Poor poor Timo. Cavalier and another poor guy. Thanks for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Not a meddler. Not a meddler. No. Scout never. That's that's because the Plaza Scout deck isn't isn't toxic to play against, in my opinion. The Plaza the Plaza Scout deck, I think, is actually a good example of of a uh, pretty pretty healthy healthy top deck to have in the format. Am I playing this now, or am I saving it for next turn after I play second peddler? I'm gonna save it for after second peddler. It's slightly less resource efficient because I'm gonna have to spend spend three on it. But have a mushroom. Have three. Uh, they know yeah, the metrics on the metrics on the scout deck are close to their play rate and win rate threshold. So that deck, deck could definitely be up for changes. It's also worth noting though, that people pointing towards Plaza in that Scouts deck, the Scouts deck has been putting up good metrics since before Plaza was a card. So Plaza definitely was a decent upgrade to it because it's another payoff in addition to Misfortune. But in, in general, I don't know that Plaza is necessarily the problem with that. If they if they wanted to adjust, I don't know that Plaza is the right card you want to hit with a Nerf Bat. I rarely forget and never forget. That's why we respect you, Captain. Okay, so I think we have to beam this this turn. I think I'm gonna go ahead and iterative improvement this beforehand. Beam always uses all of our mana, so playing a burst spell beforehand means we get to be a little bit more efficient here, which is nice. Hoping to dodge Make It Rain, which is a card these decks still play sometimes. Yep. Playing this to control the board a little bit. Bow to no one. <laughs> control combo. Feel the rush. Is the work. is the default good combo control deck? Plaza is super reasonable. I think people were sick of it because it initially had a huge play rate because like a bunch of streamers were playing it and people like 
BBG and the other large streamers dictate what the format is when new cards drop. And like it was the new hot thing, so a bunch of people played it all at once. But like once now that the format's actually settled down post set release, I don't really think Plaza's that popular or offensive. It's like like in looking at looking at Cosmic's breakdown, it's in like exactly. Yeah, like, and this is this breakdown kind of backs up what I said there, right? If we if we look at this, this is literally the only Plaza deck here, right? None of none of the rest of these play Plaza. So like out of the top 70% of the format, one deck plays it. The uh the the Targon Plaza control decks like ended up being bad. Fiora Shen plays it too. That's that's objectively wrong. You are. You are, you are very incorrect. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. May God have mercy on your soul. Is Lucian Ephemeral viable? I think Lucian Ephemeral is fun. I also, I also think a significant number of people that have been playing the Lucian Ephemerals deck have it built wrong. If you check out my website and click under the aggro decks for Plaza Ephemerals, I think the big thing that a lot of people are doing incorrectly with their Lucian Ephemeral decks is they're playing go big cards like Rekindler as opposed to building it like an aggro deck. The way the way a lot of people have Lucian Ephemerals built, the deck is largely unplayable if you don't have Plaza in play. And I think that that's a pretty big mistake. I think it's important to kill the goat to deny them the gem here. I'm technically missing out on some puff caps with this by doing this, but I think missing puff caps is worth denying them the gem here. The way, the way a lot of people have the Lucian deck built, they're building it to maximize its best draws, which makes its bad and average draws really bad. The build, the thing that the build of Lucian Ephemerals I recommend playing does differently from those others is how it um, looks to have an aggro backup plan consistently. Yes, this is this current Runeterra format is the least diverse Runeterra format I've ever played in. And it is still more diverse than Magic the Gathering's current standard format, which their players are currently lauding as one of their best formats they've had in a long time. So like the the comparison there is just like real stark. <laughs> it is best format in a long time is an incredibly low bar. You're not wrong. I think Green Chara got less diverse with KDA cards. Disagree. The data. Okay, so here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is different than other channels. I don't care about your feelings here. So if you want to say a really silly statement like this format got less diverse with KDA cards, I don't give a shit about what your feelings are. Go get the data. Like, do you see how I'm referencing Cosmic's sheet there and talking about how my predictions line up with reality? I care about reality. So if you want to tell me, okay, this is how this is, go do a little bit of legwork and pull the metrics up and show me that what you're saying is the truth. Because currently, reality disagrees with what you're saying. I think, I think I'm just troll chanting here. Put some more puff caps in their deck. Because they're going to have gems to heal this back up anyway, so I'm not going to be able to aftershock it. Rune, Rune Terra has an incredible amount of information available that, that you can use to make educated and informed statements about how the format plays out. And the number of people that just like go to like, you tied me out for 10 minutes for saying Gohard was being hated on too hard was the fourth or fifth highest win rate in your own data. Oh, you were upset about a timeout. Let me give you another one. 
because I time I remember that timeout and I timed you out for pointing out the fact that we were talking about play patterns because nobody was saying nobody's saying go hard sucks because of its win rate. Most reasonable people are saying they dislike go hard because of the types of games it generates. And that's okay too. But it's, it's important that when you're talking about your feelings, you're not using your feelings to project into percentage points. I'm not saying go hard feels bad to play against, so it's the most played deck, because that would be shit nonsense. I'm saying go hard creates toxic play patterns on average, and it feels bad to play against because of the play patterns that it generates. It could also be popular and powerful in addition to that, but those two things can be mutually exclusive or aren't, aren't mutually exclusive, right? Like one can be true without the other, but they can also be true at the same time. It's just important to not use one to imply the other because of your bias. We're kind of all dressed up with nowhere to go here. The fact that we have like all of our payoffs and no ballistic bots this game is a real beating. I guess I guess we're just playing this and like planning to harsh winds this next turn, but it's definitely not looking good for our hero. A good draw. They don't. They don't burst open. There's a good, good chance they burst open because their deck frequently does that. I assume, I assume they're gonna try and kill us from 20 here. Yeah, the, the fundamental design problem with Pack Your Bags is that it goes counter to all the other designs in Runeterra, where in Runeterra, by and large, things tend to cost more mana to play. Things tend to cost more mana to play in terms of answers than the threats cost, and Pack Your, pack your Bags is the opposite of that. We can kill them this turn. I assume there's a concussive palm in their future, in my future. Oh, we're gonna get harsh winds off a of spell thief. Gross. Okay, they're gonna harsh winds these two. Okay, so this attack is gonna put Sajani to four, I believe, which means if they draw Puff Cap's next turn, we could ice them, right? Or if they draw Puff Cap and we draw Mystic Shot? The more cards there, the more cards there are, the less cards that were playable as a statement that's true about Modern and Legacy. Do you think this will be true about Runeterra? Only if they decide to power creep things, Stacker. Okay. And we're dead. They're going to combo kill us from 20 to 0.
Yes, Lee Sin. Lee Sin feels like a magic deck. That is, ex that is exactly, exactly correct. Big, big, big agree with that. Lee Sin, Lee Sin feels like a magic deck. Lee Sin's not really comparable to Bogles. I think it's more comparable to something like Infect, but yeah, big, big magic deck energy for sure. What do you think of Zoe Karma? We played Zoe Karma to start this morning and the deck's a pile of dog poop. Zoe and Karma just don't fit well together. Those, those regions don't have good tools to be a control deck. By, by the numbers on Mobilytics, Zoe Karma has a very poor win rate. And in, in in practice, it works out in theory that they just don't mix well. You don't have hard removal or sweepers to help your control deck keep up. Okay, would I rather prioritize putting puff caps in their deck or pumping the top card of my deck? I think I'd rather prioritize putting puff caps in their deck. What are I hoping to see in the patch notes tomorrow? Changes to pack your bags, Fiora, and Lee Sin. Be, would, be my, would be my perfect ideal world things I would like to see. I think, I think there's a chance that we don't see changes to all of those. Because this technically, this technically is a small patch. I don't really want to attack these into here. I don't want to bump this in and then get, uh, get this killed by a Gohard. So you should not be expecting any buffs in tomorrow's patch. The next big balance patch will be in February, and you should expect buffs in that. So usually, usually they don't do buffs in the smaller, the smaller patches. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, David. People, people like Alan are much better Rune Terra players than people like you, me, and probably all 468 people in this chat. So Alan is going to be able to win lots of matches with decks that are really bad because his play skill will make up for the differential of how bad the deck is. I'm always up for a round or two. I'm gonna shoot this in her spots to give them one less chance to draw a glimpse here. I should probably make a command for Lee Sin because that comes up pretty often. Just run while you can. Jeff would like Lee Sin to either not combo kill or be more interactive. A card that protects itself while being able to 20 you in one turn is very toxic. Mball, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. So again, I don't think a card that inherently protects itself is awful. I don't think a card that can 20 you in one turn is awful. I think when a card is allowed to do both, it's awful. 
And I think that that, that detail is, is meaningful. It's the, it's the combination of the two that's the real problem, in my opinion. I think there's a hundred different changes you could make to Lisa. And the people that are asking me for specifics, I don't care what the specific they change. Just change change something. It's not it's not my job as a player to be the game designer and fix it for them. I think there's there's a bunch of different changes they could make, and I'd be happy with most of them. I think, I think too often card game communities get caught up in, well, if you're going to complain about a card, you have to fix it. And that's very silly. It's not the people playing the game's job to fix the cards for them. I think, I think describing why I dislike something is the important part, not, not offering a fix for it. So again, I think that description I gave there of this card both 20s me in one turn and protects itself is what I dislike. Fix, fix something about that. Dealer's, dealer's choice. Yay! Is that a turn six pack? One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn six pack. Not bad. Not bad. I want to go play some Witcher 3. I don't have anything to really say about this deck. I think it's I think it's fine. I think getting killed by Lee Sin and Pack, I'm a little over it. And I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for some changes. I'm gonna play a couple more Rintera decks tomorrow morning too, probably to just play a couple. But yeah, the last the last sets have been real, real stinky, and I'm ready. I'm ready for some changes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go play. I'm gonna go play some other games for I appreciate everybody hanging out. I usually do. Runeterra is generally the primary game that I play, but like Knowing changes that are coming, knowing there's something coming, like sitting here playing in the format that's going to change here, hopefully for the better here soon, I'd rather, I'd rather not. So um, I'm going to dive back on into my Witcher 3 playthrough. We'll be back with uh, some more Rune Terra tomorrow morning for a touch. Yeah, and I mean, like, and again, just for reference, like, this, this kind of backs up my... This is, this is the, the, this is, this is plat, this is a uh, plat diamond and master's data for the last week aggregated. And this is the least diverse rune tier has been since I started playing. And like, not only is it not super diverse, but like the play patterns of this almost 30% of decks are really kind of obnoxious. And even, even Fiora, like... Like this, this chunk is, 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 is kind of rough, especially this one, especially this one. And this is, this is a link to that. You should follow Cosmic on Twitter, on Twitter if you don't. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully we get some stuff, some stuff on Wednesday. And someone asked me to continue. Yeah, I'm planning to play Witcher 3 through, Witcher 3 through to completion. So I'm planning to play the main storyline as well as, uh, 